You know, 2017 was an interesting year. We got the Emoji Movie. We got a deep pie's complete disregard for the American populace. And I completed my first semester of college. I wonder what 2018 has in store. Ah, uh, why would I expect anything less? Well, I don't want to be the person that records drama when I'm just an art slash miscellaneous channel, but you might see some rage and you might see some things that aren't pretty, but this is YouTube drama. This isn't pretty. So let's dive in. Now, if you have been on YouTube within the past day, actually, this news is pretty fresh as of us recording this. You will see when you search up Logan Paul, I confuse the two because they're pretty much the exact same person, but you can see that all that's being talked about is people's reactions to the vlog, the vlog itself, re-uploads, etc. And I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about his apology, which strikes me as odd. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned, and the reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered. Uh, none of us knew how to react or how to feel. Here we look at a guilty man trying to play innocent. He and his buddy's reactions were raw and unfiltered, but you were going to a suicide forest. What did you expect? If this video is even real in the first place, there have been allegations that uh, this video was faked and that the Japanese man in the video like, was instructed to go find a dead body, thereby getting views on such a shocking event. And that wouldn't really surprise me because that just seems like the kind of person that Logan is. But anyways, let's keep watching. I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down and stopped recording what we were going through. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. And for that, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. Oh, there are so many things you shouldn't have done. You shouldn't have gone into a suicide forest and have not expected any suicides. You should have called the police the moment you saw the body. You should not have gone closer to the body. And you definitely should not have shown a dead body to your 10 to 15 year old audience. I want to apologize to the internet. I want to apologize to anyone who's seen the video. I want to apologize to anyone who has been affected or touched by mental illness or depression or suicide. But most importantly, I want to apologize to the victim and his family. Buddy, pal, when you post something like that, you show to the world that you are a sociopath and that you clearly don't care about the well-being of anybody but yourself and that you're trying to get the most views possible on your stupid channel. Like, I get it. Trying to apologize and trying to make things right, but you're missing so many marks that it's actually quite laughable. For my fans who are defending my actions, please don't. They do not deserve to be defended. Well, they got one thing right, and that's that nobody should be defending this absolute clown of a human being. Um, the goal with my content is always to entertain, to push the boundaries, to be all-inclusive. In the world I live in, I share almost everything I do. The intent is never to be heartless, cruel, or malicious. Uh, like I said, I've made a huge mistake. I don't expect to be forgiven. 
I'm just here to apologize. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm disappointed in myself. And I promise to be better. I will be better. Thank you. And therein lies the final nail in the coffin. Your content is made to entertain people. Whether it's entertaining is debatable, but that's what the purpose of your content is for. And when you post videos like that, that go against your own channel philosophy, it proves that you really don't care about entertaining people or pushing the boundaries, whatever the hell that means, or being all inclusive and showing parts of your life. That video flies in the face of all of that, and it makes you look like a really big hypocrite. The fact that you ever even felt the need to mention that, it just proves that you're only making this to save your own ass and that you really don't care at all. <sighs> well, that's all I really have to say. You're not sorry. You'll do this again if you even survive for that long. And you will definitely not learn from your mistakes. And you will keep doing clickbaity bullshit until you are finally too old for your fan base, which is happening pretty fast. So I hope you saved your YouTube money, you soulless motherfucker. <sighs> See ya.